In addition to tracking time in a browser, you can also do it via the extension, mobile app, desktop app, and a kiosk station. Each method comes with its own benefits, so let's go over each one. If you're working on a computer, you can open Clockify in a browser and start the timer or enter the time in a timesheet there. There's no need to install anything and management features are close by. To get some advanced time tracking features, install the browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. It allows you to see when the timer is running and switch between tasks, plus track time inside other web apps by clicking on the Start Timer button inside them. For example, you can start the timer inside Asana, Gmail, and more than 50 other apps. The extension also has some advanced features like reminders and idle detection, which you can enable in the settings right here. In addition to the extension, you can install the Clockify desktop app for Mac or Windows. It's more handy for when you're starting, continuing, or stopping the timer. Plus, you can notice when you don't have a timer running by checking its color. To enable advanced features, go to Preferences. Here, you can enable Always on Top. That will give you the mini timer mode on top of other windows, so you can have the timer close at hand at all times. In Preferences, you can set a default project so that all new timers get that project when you start them. If you forget about the timer, you can enable automatic start and stop when your computer has started, has been put to sleep, or turned off. Also, you can enable reminders to get notifications when you work without a timer, and idle detection to get notifications when you're inactive, so you can subtract that time from the total. If you want to work in intervals, enable Pomodoro and you'll get notifications when it's time to take a break. If your workspace has screenshot gathering enabled, you'll see this icon so you know they're being taken, and you can click on it to see what was recorded. If you're switching between tasks a lot, you can take advantage of the auto tracker. Just turn it on, and at the end of the day, it'll show you which apps and websites you used, and when you were inactive. This can be useful when you have a gap in your calendar. Just see what you worked on at the time and fill in the information you need manually. The auto-tracked data is completely private. It's stored locally on your computer, so only you can see it. If you wish, you can create a time entry from the records and send them to Clockify by clicking on the plus sign, or by selecting them in bulk. When adding multiple records, you can create an individual time entry for each one or combine them all into one entry. If you're working away from a computer, you can track time via mobile app. Get it from your app store, log in, and start the timer by tapping play on iOS or tapping the plus and then play on Android. Then you can enter all the details and when you're done, you just tap stop. You can quickly restart a timer for any activity by clicking play on any entry on Android or by swiping right on iOS. You can also add a widget to your home screen so you can quickly start and stop the timer without having to open the app. The app also works if you're offline. Just track time as you usually would, and when you get online, all the data will be synced and available across all devices. If GPS recording is enabled on the workspace and allowed on your phone, you'll see the sign indicating that the location is being recorded whenever you start and stop the timer or change your location. For more features, open the menu where you can find Timesheet to quickly record time and submit for approval, Calendar where you can visualize your tracked time and assignments, Reports to get quick time breakdowns, Expenses where you can record project expenses, and Time Off where you can request vacation time and other types of leave. In Settings, you can define a default project so all new time entries are categorized automatically. And finally, Android users can start and stop the timer just from a notification, and iOS users can add a timer widget to their home screen. If your employees don't have a personal computer or a phone, you can set up a kiosk station from which they can clock in and out. Just take any internet-connected device you have, like a tablet or a computer, put it at the entrance, and open a link to a kiosk you made. Then, your employees can tap on their profile, enter their personal PIN code, and clock in. While they're clocked in, they can go on a break, or if they're finished, they can clock out. To learn more about time tracking in Clockify, be sure to check out our other videos.